Are you the oldest child in your family? Or the youngest? Or the only child? Or are you a middle child? Hello, Father James Kavicki here on the Feast of St. Andrew. And perhaps you've heard that birth order in a family can have a lot to do with one's personality or temperament. As you probably know, St. Andrew's brother was St. Peter, the leader of the apostles and the early church. I recently ran across something which speculated that St. Peter was the firstborn in his family because he was a take-charge individual who liked to be in control. St. Andrew, on the other hand, probably came after Peter and was a middle child. Middle children are often overshadowed by their older siblings and they don't get the attention like the youngest ones in the family and so they sometimes tend to get lost in the family. That can lead them to either be very reserved or to act out in order to get attention. So here we have St. Andrew, overshadowed by his older brother, but who still has a very important, though more hidden, role to play. He's the one who first brought Peter to meet Jesus. He's the one to whom some Gentiles, non-Jewish people, first went to in order to see Jesus. Peter would have probably been impetuous and turned them away, but Andrew, understanding what it means to be overlooked and forgotten, brought them to Jesus. I think there's a good lesson in this for all of us. No matter what your birth order, no matter what your background or personality or temperament, you have a role to play, and your unique qualities may be just the right way that will lead someone else to Jesus.